North of Los Angeles, along the California coast, sits Naval Base Ventura County. This command is comprised of two bases, Port Wanimi and Point Magoo, two Navy installations that are seven miles apart. But tonight, they're getting ready for a fight, not on the battlefield, but in the ring. They play host to military boxers from the four services, duking it out in the Armed Forces Boxing Championship. Good evening, I'm Van Stokes here with Tom Lavacek ringside at the 2010 Armed Forces Boxing Championship here at Naval Base Ventura County in California. Tonight, boxers from two services battle it out for the gold medal and the title of Armed Forces Boxing Champion in the 141 pound weight class. Tonight, we'll have the highlights of the preliminary bouts plus all the action from the final. Now, Tom, you're a boxing official of long standing in Europe. Tell us about the rules that will be in effect here today. We'll be using a computerized scoring system. Three rounds of boxing consisting of three minutes of each round. That's both in the preliminaries and in the finals. Legal scoring blows. They're scored when the white part or the knuckle part of the glove forcefully strikes the head or body of their opponent. Fouls. The common fouls are slapping, holding, holding and hitting, or pushing. The fouls lead to cautions, cautions lead to warnings, and three warnings result in a disqualification. The referee, his number one responsibility is the safety of the boxer. He can stop the bout because the boxer is injured, bleeding, or one boxer has a superior lead over his opponent. Tom, thank you very much. Now that we understand the rules, let's get into the action in the preliminary bouts where the first bout marine jamel herring of camp lejeune north carolina faces off against the army's dustin laura of fort carson colorado let's check out the highlights that's jamel herring in the red duking it out early with dustin laura of the army wearing the black a lot of infighting and then quickly herring goes to a knee with a maladjusted headset tom Once again, safety comes into play on that, and that's exactly why Herring decided to do that. Well, they're back at it now, out in the center of the ring. And Herring, he's the artful dodger in this particular bout, isn't he? He's uh, great. He's got great uh, defensive. He moves real well defensively. Uh, I like this, and he's a tough guy to hit. He is a tough guy to hit. Dustin Lahr right now certainly challenged to land a scoring blow into the front torso of Jamel Herring. As we move ahead to under 30 seconds remaining in this bout. Once again, Jamel Herring won the first round six to nothing. He won the second round four to two. And looks like he's in control here in round three. Laura's throwing a lot of punches, but again, they're coming, they're being deflected or going off the arms and the hands of, of the Marine boxer. Well, Laura unable to score. So as this bout wound its way down, you found Jamal Herring on the winning end, 14 to 4. Tom, a pretty good bout by Jamel Herring. Uh, you're absolutely right. We've got this is a great way to get started. We've got two boxers nationally ranked. Uh, boxer number five going against number five in the nation in the lightweight 141 pound, light welterweight 141 pound weight class. So it's off to a good start. Off to a good start we are. And when we return, it's the Air Force against the Navy in the next preliminary bout. Which service will advance to the finals? Stick around. We'll find out next. Welcome back to the Armed Forces Boxing Championship at Naval Base Ventura County, California. We just saw Jamel Herring defeat Dustin Lara in the first 141-pound preliminary bout. Herring will face off against the winner of this next preliminary bout in the finals. In this bout, Airman Matthew McCoy of Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio battles sailor Justin Diaz, stationed on the USS Pinckney. Let's take a look at the action. Round three. Approaching the two-minute mark again, Matthew McCoy in the red, Justin Diaz in the blue, and he stuns him, an eight count. 
Okay, and the referee immediately stop, stands in, comes in, gives a standing mandatory eight count. Again, you see him counting. He's at five now, six, seven, eight. And then if he feels McCoy can go after the count of eight, he, the bout continues on. If he doesn't think he can go, he can stop the bout. Well, you see the good left and then the cross right. There it is, set up nicely. Comes home with the right hand and stuns Matthew McCoy, forcing the eight count. Give McCoy credit. He covers well, but Diaz finds a home with the left and the right again as we get under the one-minute mark remaining in this bout. Matthew McCoy is staying in close, both of them right now, because they know this is close to end, and no nobody wants to... Uh, uh, every both boxers want to go the distance. Well, again, they're keeping it close. And you see a lot of holding now. L look at McCoy holding. A little bit, but they separate. You like to get that distance, Tom, in between those two boxers. Now, Diaz very much on the attack right now against McCoy. McCoy won the first period three to two where Diaz won the second round nine to one and looks like he's very much in command here in round number three now we, we have a situation here where one of the boxers lost his mouthpiece again we talked about the safety devices and both boxers will be wearing that protective mouthpiece it's a safety equipment that they must wear it's a form-fitted mouthpiece Well, Justin Diaz goes on to win this bout by the score of 21 to 7. It's official. Jamel Herring and Justin Diaz face off in the finals. Let's take a closer look at our competitors in the championship bout. Our first finalist is a field electrician from Corum, New York. Marine Corporal Jamel Herring is now stationed at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. He's 24 years old and has been boxing for nine years. Here's more on how he has prepared for the championship belt. Oh, I don't really do a lot of trash talking. My job is basically talking my fist. Boxing basically is um, it's a discipline sport. In the Marine Corps, you know, you have to have a lot of discipline. I remember my first parent company, I had um, one of my corporals at the time. Uh, I was talking to him about what I used to do outside before I joined the Marine Corps. I told him one thing I used to do was um, boxing. And then he, have, he happened to mention that there was a boxing team actually in that location. We had, like I said, we have our days. When you fight through them, showing discipline, it makes you a better, makes you a better person in and outside of the ring. I just got, just got to stay busy. Just can't, I can't stay in one spot because. Um, he basically, you know, flat-footed also, and he's going to try to, like, corner you. So, but if I know if I keep moving and working on, you know, working on my jab and straight punches, I, I'll surely, you know, I feel like I'll, I'll get the win that way. I actually um, fought and lost, lost it on um, my opponent last year, the last year on forces, but um, I guarantee it's going to be a different outcome this year. And like I said, um, with, my own, with my coach's abilities, you know, we've got a game plan, and we're going to just um, work on We're going to work it out from there. Win, baby, win. Herring has the confidence, but is he ready for his opponent? He faces off against last year's Armed Forces gold medal winner, who is fresh off of an eight-month deployment. 21-year-old Navy boxer Justin Diaz is from Miami, Florida, now stationed on the USS Pinckney. Here's more on how he trains and how he got his start in boxing. I'm going for blood, and uh, when I get it, that's when I'm satisfied. We get two months to get ready for this, and we're two months of solid training. I mean, three times a day, two times, uh, two hours each time uh, for six days a week. And you know, even on Sundays when we get our day off, we still run. When it's time to work, we really put in work. We work hard. We push ourselves to the limit. <laughs> 